I'm Greg Wheatley, and my guest today on Inside Wheaton is Anna Morris. Anna is a current junior at Wheaton College. Her major is international relations and French, and uh, we've invited her to come here to talk about a project that's uh, really very exciting and has a lot of Wheaton roots. So, Anna, welcome to Inside Wheaton. Yeah, great. Thank you so much for having me. Nice to have you here. Um, the, let me let me start just by asking a little bit about you. You're Absolutely. a junior. The yeah. year has started rolling here. You're uh, you still look relatively sane. Right. Everything's okay. <laughs> I'm trying. You know, yeah. the the concealer helps with the dark eyes <laughs> under the dark bags under my eyes. That is very but. busy time, isn't it? Yeah, but very exciting. Yeah. Um, junior year is obviously a time when I've already got some of those relationships established. Um, classes have been going well, but getting off to a busy start yeah. as they always do. So, international relations and French. Yes. Is that a strategic pairing? What do you uh, What do you hope to do down the road? Yeah. So, I'm interested in international business, um, particularly in marketing and advertising. Uh, the French was a connection from uh, family roots. I have family that are from France, and so picked up the language in junior high and just have not put it down since. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to acquire fluency, so I'm going to be going in the spring to Paris to study oh, abroad. Now that's tough. Yes, it's going to be really <laughs> rough, um, but really looking forward to it, yeah, of course. And, and so, yeah, hoping to pair that um, with some sorts of international advertising. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the project I mentioned is called Project World Impact. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about a website in a minute where people can learn more about this. But it's got some very, very strong Wheaton roots, even Absolutely. though you were telling me before we started this conversation, it's not officially a Wheaton project. That's right. Um, tell me what it is and how it got started. Yeah. So Project World Impact is a new company. Um, it's an entrepreneurial endeavor of a Taylor University grad named Chris Lesnar um, and a Wheaton student, Senior Grant Hensel. Um, um, it's a company that essentially connects nonprofits with donors and volunteers. So the site, projectworldimpact.com, is an online hub where nonprofits create free profiles and are able to share photos, um, videos, written information about the work that they're doing in an effort to appeal to donors and volunteers that can search for them by cause and by location. Hmm. So we kind of say it's like a Facebook for nonprofits. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got a profile, you can post information, but not nearly the upkeep of a Facebook profile file where you're posting every day. This is more something um, that acts as a web presence and a marketing presence for you where then people can connect with you, donate, volunteer, and get plugged in with your organization. So these are nonprofits of all kinds? That's right. All sizes, all different, um, you know, kinds of causes that they support. Um, Personally, on the the site with working in content, um, and I can explain a little bit more about that, we have 11 causes that we've written content on to kind of educate the consumer. Mm-hmm. if you will, on the needs of these 11 causes in the 196 countries um, mm. of the world. And so that's in an effort to sort of educate about the needs. But we acknowledge that there's far more than 11 causes that need attention. Um, and so we've got nonprofits ranging from small, um, you know, hyper-local organizations, food banks, homeless shelters, to large aid organizations like World Vision or Compassion well International. Known, well-known organizations. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, um, before I came in here, I was looking around a little bit at the website. It looks like you have over 3,000 signed yeah. on already. Is yeah, it? yeah, that's correct, Greg. So this summer, yeah. that was our goal, um, was to get to 3,000 organizations. Mm-hmm. And by the grace of God, we were able to do so. Um, the grace of God and the help of 19 other <laughs> eager students who yeah. um, were willing to put in the hard work of cold calling and contacting nonprofits and letting them know you know, that this service is going to be available here. So tell me about the Wheaton connection. Why, yeah. why such a strong Wheaton presence in all of this? Right. Um, So the the founder, as I said, is a graduate of Taylor University. Um, Actually, Chris, when he was at Taylor, started a marketing company that focused on for-profit marketing um, and really had success with utilizing the Taylor student body as employees. If you think about it, college students are eager to learn. They are incredibly intelligent. They are willing to work for a cause bigger than themselves, which often can mean taking a pay cut. Um, And they're accessible in large numbers. So Chris wanted to follow a similar model with Project World Impact and and knew through his dad, Bill Lesnar, who's on the leadership council, that Wheaton could be um, a place with an ample supply of talented individuals to, you know, staff his company with. So for the summer, he kind of decided he would source completely with students to start this company. We got a couple of Wheaton grads in there, but Chris himself, I should mention, is is 21 years of age, and so he also is, is quite young, and so 
working with your peers is just a completely um, unique and exciting experience. The amount of energy that was yeah. brought every day yeah. um, was palpable, and I would say it was part of our success. Well, and one of the things, Anna, that you've mentioned, and I find as I run into students um, of, of your age bracket, mm-hmm. I've got um, kids of my own. They're most two of them are a little older. They're you know thirty ish, but even with their their age bracket. There's a huge passion for mm-hmm. making a difference in the world. Absolutely. I think um, way more than my generation had. I yeah. have to, my hat's off to you. I, and I don't know where all that's coming from. But that's you're capitalizing on that too, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. I think the idea of Project World Impact, I mean, it's in the name. It's making an impact greater than, you know, your small community or even your little constituency of friends and family. We're interested in... Um, impacting the work of these nonprofits and in doing so being able to touch millions of lives. I mean, we just really have a heart, everyone who works for PWI for nonprofit work and understand that two of the hardest things to gain are volunteers and donations, which is why we see PWI as being an awesome resource to connect socially minded individuals. As you said, I mean, our generation is full of them as well as people who have given to these organizations for years and participated in their work faithfully. But to connect them with organizations that they're passionate about and that it's a natural fit for them to get involved is just to us something that's super important. Tell me a little bit, how would it work? Um, yeah. Let's take it first from the nonprofit side. Sure. In other words, if I sign on with you, what am I what am I getting out of that? Absolutely. And then after you do that, let's talk about just the average person listening and how they connect. Yeah. So if you're a nonprofit, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to our site, which is projectworldimpact.com, and you're going to register your organization quite simply um, by putting in some of your basic contact information, particularly for the person who will be managing the profile. And as I said earlier, this isn't going to be a huge management process of, of, you know, overhauling daily or posting new things. It's really as much as you'd like it to be. Um, So after that, you'll be sent some profile building information. We pre-populate some of the basic stuff for you so it's as easy as possible Um, but you get to choose videos photos uh, written information that reflects the values and the mission of your nonprofit um, and put that on there and then um, basically you get to monitor the way that people are interacting with your profile you can see google analytics of how many people click on it how many people who click on it donate to your organization and sort of monitor the value of the profile for your organization Um, ideally Really, we created this site so that no matter if you're a small nonprofit or a large one, you receive the same amount of attention on our site. So um, when you search, if, if a consumer searches just for, let's say, environment, all of the organizations working in environment will come up in randomized order. Um, that's not going to be characterized or, or rather categorized by income, um, amount of donations, size, mm. and number of employees. that's intentional, I suppose, on your part, right? That now. is, because yeah. we'd really like to, to be based um based based on quality of of work provided mm-hmm. and quality of of the nonprofit based rather than on you know financial right. gives so, a little guy as much chance as the the major uh, exactly yeah. and and you know personally what I found in volunteering is sometimes those small nonprofits are doing equally as mm-hmm. important or valuable work and I we don't want that to be right. underlooked um, so there's also an option on your profile for people within your company to write testimonials about working with your organization mm-hmm. there's a spot for people who have been served by your nonprofit to write testimonials um, as well as then for people who are visiting your profile to write you know I donated to this organization I think it's really cool what they're doing and sort of um, speak out in that social way that mm-hmm. kind of our world has turned into yep. with Facebook and right. Twitter about your organization and spread the word to their friends mm-hmm. um, so we're hoping it will have kind of this snowball effect as that you know let's say I comment on DuPage Pad's profile and say, I love the work that you guys are doing. What a great organization. I share that to my Facebook that I just donated, you know, $25 there. Then my friends see that and they want to donate. So we're hoping that it'll have a a really positive effect for these nonprofits. So and then before we turn to the other side and and the the average person looking around, um, 
obviously there's a fee for this. Um, right, uh, right. Because it takes a lot to, to be able to manage that kind of thing. How does that work? Yeah, so great question. Um, right now we're actually keeping it free as a free service. Um, and that's a decision that we made in order to assess the value because we know that this is going to vary as far as how valuable it is monetarily for different nonprofits. So um, we're keeping it free certainly for the rest of the year and possibly thereafter um, in order to assess what kind of value this is giving to nonprofits. Because we don't, we know that as a nonprofit, your finances are tight and going to places that you know we'd rather them go than to marketing, which is why we created the site in the right. first place. Um, and so we're going to take some time to assess based on you know Google Analytics of our own what kind of value this is is providing to nonprofits before mm-hmm. imposing any kind of fee. So we always tell um, people who sign up that's why we never take credit card information. Uh, we really do want this to be a service to nonprofits, yeah. and so. We don't want to impose a charge before we even know if it's helpful. Yeah. So right now, if I'm a nonprofit and I get in touch with you, it's going to be try it. And That's right. Try it and works. see. Um, we're thrilled to have you on board and kind of this inaugural team of you know 3,200 or so nonprofits that are a part. We are just so thankful for mm. and really anxious to see um, how the Lord will work through them um, to kind of launch this site and, and hopefully an endeavor that will grow to help thousands and thousands more nonprofits. Now let's talk about the person who is searching for a cause to be a part of. Right. Um, you know, wants to be a plug in as a donor or a volunteer. How does that work from from my side? Yeah, so this is who we're looking for totally um, to help as well. So let's say I am anxious to you know get involved with some kind of nonprofit, but I'm not really sure what. I go to Project World Impact, and there are two search bars. There's a cause bar and a location bar. Let's say I just know that I'm interested in Kenya. I can put in Kenya, and I can see all the nonprofits working in Kenya. Well, that's kind of overwhelming. Mm-hmm. What if I want to look up human trafficking in Kenya, so organizations that are working to combat human trafficking. I could put in human trafficking Kenya and see those organizations. Same goes with clean water, um, same goes with family, education, children, etc. So I can look up those specific causes and see a blurb about um, kind of the, the current situation. That's the educational component, as well as some country stats um, about just you know what's going on in Kenya as far as population numbers, um, some of those some of those health facts like um, Mortal, infant mortality rate, average life expectancy, that kind of thing. See a little bit of that blurb about the certain cause that I've looked up, and then I can see the nonprofits working there. So we're hoping that for the consumer, it's a very linear process of, okay, I see the need, I understand it because I did some research right here, and then I've got all these organizations working there. So it's really just a matter of picking the one that I feel best represents my views um, and, and is working best in the way that I see as being you know, helpful to these, these people. Now, once you've done that, then, is, your, is the Project World Impact site a venue for actually donating, or is it just a way to connect... No, it certainly is. Um, so I click on the nonprofits or the nonprofits profile that I'm interested in. I can see some of their information that they've posted. Like I said, it could be photos and videos, kind of an explanation of what they're doing. Um, there will be an opportunity to put if they have posted any volunteer opportunities to get on their email list, volunteer, and a donate button. Um, and a neat thing that we do for nonprofits is that we offer them um, a couple of options of how to donate. Some nonprofits would rather direct all donations donations right to their site. So that can happen when I click that donate button, it it redirects me to their website. Mm -hmm. Um, Some would just rather process through PayPal. So we'll do that right there. But we also have a partnership with Transnational Bank Card. And the benefit of that is that, and many people don't know this, but the trans... um, the processing fee for donations can range from 3 to 12%. Mm -hmm. And we just think that's super high. So the partnership that we have with Transnational puts it at at at-cost processing, which is Mm 1.75%. So if the nonprofit has chosen to process with Transnational, that's a great um, benefit both for the consumer, if you will, um, and for the nonprofit in that all of, you know, as much as possible. less overhead. That's right. Of their donation is going to go to the cause. Mm -hmm. And then tax deductible receipting and all of that takes place uh, Absolutely. As, as you would expect, I suppose. Absolutely. Yeah. Where do you hope this goes, Anna? Yeah. Uh, let's let's project down the road another year or two. You're through your 
senior year. Let's get you right. through college. <laughs> right. Thank you. Yes. Uh, what What's the future of all of this? Yeah. You know, we really hope, like I said, to see this expand to touch the lives of millions of people. Um, our heart is in serving these nonprofits, but more than that, it's serving the people that these nonprofits mm-hmm. serve. Um, so we like to see this expanded to the point that we need to have regional sales directors and international sales directors. Currently, although many of our nonprofits have international focuses, we are working with nonprofits that have some sort of um, national base. So whether that's just they have an office here or whether that's all their work is in the United States, um, that's currently what we're we're working with. But we'd love to expand to international nonprofits as well. Um, so I see that as, as some expansion. Um, we also do marketing services for nonprofits, which is the way that we've kind of been able to financially sustain the business while, while giving this free opportunity out to people. Um, and so I'd like to see that expand as well. And, and by we, that you mean uh, more traditional marketing help? Uh, tr- yes, absolutely. So obviously we see the website as the most vital um, kind of marketing service that we can provide, but we also do kind of your more typical brand management websites, apps, etc. Um, and so I'd like to see that side of our business expanded as well because I think, you know, we truly believe with Chris from a marketing background and then with the, the aim of our site to market nonprofits, if you will, that those services are valuable as well. But first and foremost, we just really want to see the website helping as many people as possible and being truly a valuable resource to these nonprofits. So again, if somebody's looking for this, if they are a nonprofit and want to plug in with you, yeah. or if they're a, an average person looking to find ways to, to be beneficial, uh, direct us, how would they go? Yeah, they're going to go to www.project, and that's P-R-O-J-E-C-T, yeah, world, a spelling lesson for right, <laughs> impact, um, dot com. All, all one word, right? That's correct, okay. yeah. And um, for consumers who are looking right now for places to plug in, they'll be taken to a splash page. So this is kind of our pre-launch phase as we're helping nonprofits to to get on board. So um, they'll be able to see some of the organizations we're working with and, and see some of our excitement about you know the um, impending launch but we're hoping to be launching later this fall so right now is just a preparation phase of making sure that all the profiles look the way that we you know want them to in the way that the nonprofits would like them to before we we launch we want this to be an easy user experience right. certainly so again it's project world impact dot Com? Dot com. Yep. Dot com. You can go dot org as well because it'll okay. take you Either there. Way, right? um, but okay. yeah, it is yeah. dot com. It's a great idea. Thank uh, you. It's yeah. It's really, really a creative and, uh, and innovative idea. It's great. Are you looking for people to actually help you as in a staff person? Are you looking for yeah. that kind of help? You know, you, we um, we have a great team, but we are always looking, especially for interns. Mm-hmm. And we have a pretty cool internship program, uh, particularly pertaining to sales. Um, okay. We'd like to also expand to include some fair trade organizations on the site. So if, if there's someone who's interested in, in kind of helping us to launch that fair trade portion. Right. And then always people with graphic design and computer programming skills are welcome to inquire because as we expand rapidly and as we take on more marketing clients and we can always use people with expertise and a heart for you know the mission that we're trying to do which is to you know not lightly but impact the world sure, right. mm-hmm. well again projectworldimpact.com will get you to the website check it out uh, it's it's an interesting idea and uh, one i think you'll appreciate Anna Morris, thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Greg. And uh, God's best as you continue this really important ministry. Absolutely. Likewise. For Inside Wheaton, I'm Greg Wheatley.